this is day two in Bangkok. We are at the Chetrium Hotel Riverside. Breakfast was awesome and we are heading out for a cycle tour. All right, so let's take a quick break in today's episode. While we were traveling around, there was a lot of detail um, at the beginning that I really totally forgot to share about. So, like how we got from A to B, um, we experienced a lot of um, things while we were traveling that can for once be like really an obstacle while you're traveling. And on the other side, there are some shortcuts that are really, really helpful, but nobody tells you about it or um, they're nowhere mentioned in any travel guide or anything else. So every time details like those um, come up, I'll take a quick break and I'll explain those things to you guys um, in here. So uh, yeah, this is um, one thing. Then uh, the other thing was, um, in today's episode, we went um, for a city tour with ABC um, Cycling. With the ABC Cyclist... Um, no. <laughs> they're, they're called Amazing... Amazing Bangkok Cyclist Group. So, um, they have different types of, of tours they offer. So, you can choose between a shorter, longer or um, what you want to see. So, um, we decided to go for a tour that is four hour long in the morning. And they take you from right in the middle of the city out to the outskirts where you cycle along a really narrow, um, like, I dare to call them roads, but they really don't feel like roads, it's more like a sidewalk. And yeah, so very, very interesting, really can recommend it. And by the way, this is no endorsement at all. Everything you see in my blog is completely paid by us or by me. So uh, we had no discounts or anything at all. So, oh, and I forgot one thing. Um, at the beginning, <laughs> I'm so sorry for the shaky picture because it's been at least 10 years uh, since I last sat on a bike and yeah, riding a bike was pretty hard after that time. So at the beginning I was like, you know, shaking way more. I promise you guys at the end I got way better and uh, it wasn't shaking that much anymore. So please stay with us and enjoy the view. After we've been cycling for half an hour, we reached an area where people basically live in houses built out of scrap parts and um, the water you can see here is basically sewage, so um, those people live in really bad conditions, but uh, this is how a lot of those people live there for a long, long time. Cheaper of them. They live here is long, long time before. 80 years or 100, something like that. They live with the parents, with the grandma, grandpa. Look like that. They land, something like that. They live here is long, long. But they have land in the countryside. They have family in the countryside also.
And here we reach the point where we set over with a boat over the Chayo Praia and we found ourselves in a totally different world. I mean, we were like literally inside of a rainforest. So, as I was telling you before, this was a four hour bike ride. So, four hours is really, really long. So, before it's getting too boring and I lose you all, I shorten this a bit and let's get back to the end. <laughs> This is the funny thing about traveling in Thailand or in countries like Thailand. So we had a lot of situations where we encountered like strange signs, wrong translations and stuff. And here's just a little portion of what we saw. So enjoy. Let me pause here for a minute. There is the thing about security in Thailand. Sometimes good enough is more that you could hope for. So like here in this picture where you have the first guy who is scrapping off the old paint and the second one who is painting right afterwards, they have no security harnesses or anything. So if one falls off, He's right in the child prior, so yeah. And seat belts. Seat belts are normally built into every modern car, but in Thailand, it's kind of like sport in taxis to pimp the cars and removing all the seat belts. So if you enter a Thai taxi, the probability that there won't be a seat belt is about 50%. So keep that in mind. 